Hey boys, welcome back to some more Cowboys 2021 career mode, and we're we're on top of the ladder. We're sitting pretty there with the Panthers, the Storm. Um, well, the Panthers are tied, but the Storm are up there as well, unsurprisingly. So I feel like, I mean, Cowboys a bit of a surprise. I I mean I've talked about it a little bit, but I do think the Cowboys are prime for a, for a bounce back year. As you look at the uh, the Knights team. Um, Good, good, uh, good team. Tyson Frizzell, one of the, the big inclusions. Hopefully, um, hopefully Connor Watson can, can, uh, can have a nice injury unaffected year. Cause I mean, he, dude, Connor Watson, just as a bit of a side note, is such a good player, dude. Obviously left the Roosters as a, as a good utility. Um, had his opportunity at the Knights and he just... He he's looked so good every time he's he's got a chance, but I feel like the last couple of years he just he just suffered, just just had setbacks with injuries, and I mean it's it's uh, unfortunately a common occurrence as that was a bit scrappy off the kickoff, um, but unfortunately, you know some players just have that that misfortune of of injuries. Um, so hopefully he's one of those guys. I uh, I talked about it with another. I, I know I mentioned it with like Tedesco how how he sort of came off uh, just numerous injuries, but he's he's been, like, un, unfazed ever since. So hopefully Watson is, is another guy that can sort of just get rid of that tag of of injury proneness. Um, as unfortunately, we did give the Knights a good opportunity. We're going to give away a little sneaky um, penalty there. Kalen Ponga is going to uh, slot the two points here, but... Yeah, as, as the season is going on, I mean, I feel like I feel like we're getting better and better. Um, I feel like we're starting to string just more consistent, not full eighty minute, but uh, pretty close to like a full a full match performance. As Mitch Dunn goes straight through some uh, some flimsy defense there, but yeah, we're we're starting to gel. I, I like our our combinations are looking solid. Um, a lot, a lot of good signs, honestly. And uh, I mean, that's the other guy with the injuries, Michael, Michael Morgan. That, that's the uh, that's the bounce back factor for the Cowboys. I mean, Morgan, his form in general has been down. Um, typified as uh, we give away another high shot there. Unfortunately, it was a good kick and a good kick chase, but just a little eager. His beautiful play there, Michael Morgan. Splits him up the middle. Nice little counter-attack. His drink water gets absolutely belted, but um, you know, Morgan, even when he, like a couple of years ago, I felt like his form had definitely slumped. His beautiful play, S on Masters, on to Kyle Felt. That was, that was silky play. We usually like to go to the left side, but, you know, this right side attack of S on Masters and Kyle Felt, I mean, we definitely want to utilize it. It is a, it is a strong pairing if they're if they're on um SR Masters hopefully can can find some form and uh I mean Kyle Felt on his day is is one of the best wingers in the in the game and he's you know he's, he's definitely developed a much more consistent game I mean Kyle Felt previous seasons was definitely rocks or diamonds but I feel like I feel like diamonds are coming up a lot more frequently for for Kyle Felt which is good actually I expected him to make the origin team but was he was he injured Felt I think he was, wasn't he? Is again, we're gonna <laughs> just just overchance our arm a little bit. We get pushed over the sideline second time in this opening half, which is a little bit. I mean, they're 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 frustrating ones because they're not even a mistake. It's just it's just um yeah, just overplaying the hand a little bit off the off the scrum there, being a little bit too over eager. Um, but but yeah, Morgan, even before the sort of the injury setbacks, his, his form definitely dwindled uh, pretty much ever since that sort of fairy tale run to the grand final where Morgan just on like a just sort of like a ten game span at the end of the year was just unbelievable. Just sort of just played out of his gourd and and somehow the Cowboys <laughs> made it to the grand final, which they honestly were never gonna win, but just to make it was was just remarkable. Ever since that, it's sort of just been um as look at this, beautiful. It was a nice little nice little play there. Got uh got big JT Tamalolo to to take it from lock. Um just put the pressure on. It was a bit scrappy, but at the end there we got a nice little offload to Fado just scoring in the corner and uh, nice little nice little trick shot off the off the scrum worked uh, worked a treat. Um, but yeah, ever, ever since that year, Morgan is definitely just I don't know lost a bit of confidence. Me, I mean, 
even before like being out injured maybe he was just sort of carrying a, a couple of niggles which which hindered his game because I mean a lot of times you look at players and you might look and see that they're a bit you know down on form a bit down on confidence it generally comes back to like they are carrying an injury it i mean most players especially as the season goes on like they're going to be carrying some some even serious serious knocks and serious injuries that uh sometimes you can play through but it's going to hinder your game and i think that's honestly a big reason is look at dude go back and watch that <laughs> that was we are going to gift it over but just just go back and watch that little set piece I think it was, I think it was Shane Wright, he came from like the, he just sort of swooped around the back, there was a decoy, it, it was, it was silky, I, I, it wasn't a set play, but it, it looked, it looked incredible, um, unfortunately we gifted it over, but it was, it was great, just go back and watch it, <laughs> it was, it was very, very nice, um, in fluid motion, that's what I'm talking about, just this Cowboys team is just starting to gel, as right there we just, I don't know how we didn't get pinged for a knock on, but that was that was very scrappy, and we do give we get a penalty, so very very fortunate. So, twenty minutes to go, up twelve points to two. It's been another game where we haven't been sensational, but again we've 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 looked comfortable. We've we've looked good in attack. Our defense has been a little bit scrappier, but we've uh, yeah just just turn it on for a for a brief moment and. It's sort of taken the game away from the from the Knights here, but uh, yeah, just finishing off on the on the Morgan point. Um, not much else really to say. Just hopefully he can he can have a, a nice uh, a nice year. You know, hopefully he's coming in nice and fresh, fit. And I mean, if Morgan's on song, the the Cowboys team it's it's too good a team to be as bad as they were. Um, you know, you look at the Broncos, and honestly. I, even looking this year I'm like I'm not a huge like the team I don't know even on paper I'm not I'm not that big a fan of their team um but the Cowboys do they, they've got too much strike and you know Holmes coming back for his second year uh should be should be good for the run um the forward pack there's some really good quality so it's too good a team to play as bad as last year so I'm I'm expecting a big bounce back and Hopefully, hopefully that uh, transpires, but uh, finishing off on this game, five minutes left. Hopefully, we can finish with a bit of a flurry. Is beautiful run there. Valentine Holmes gets the, the silly offload. I mean, that, that's, that's just one of those times you're up by 10 points, a few minutes left. Just uh, just playing a little bit reckless. Should have just taken the tackle, played the set. We had the momentum, nice little line break off the scrum. We had them shot, so yeah, didn't, didn't need to throw it, and it, it's something... It's something in this game. It's not going to affect the the scoreline, but we, you know, have to have to worry about that for the future. Those games, those tight games, throwing silly passes like that, it'll come back to it'll come back to bite you, and it could could happen at the business end of the season as uh, we get another scrum feed. And again, Tamalolo picks it up off the scrum. Oh baby, big JT is going to stroll his way over. It uh, <laughs> we've uh, we played this card twice now and it's worked both times. This time the big fella just goes himself. Barrels over one. The speed to get all the way. I mean that dude it's the first real time i've, I've utilized sort of running from from lock and I, i've never really done it um with with other teams but i mean having having jt pick it up from lock there being one-on-one -on -one, with generally you're going to be up against well not really i guess they defend sort of the back row in the outside the scrum anyway nowadays but getting one-on-one -on -one with with tamalolo it's it's a recipe for success so it's, it's going to be a nice little tactic as uh we do get a nice solid victory 18 points to two not not 100 percent but uh tamalolo was was massive hopefully you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one